We've coined a term, we call it the effective tax on new income. Effective tax on a capital gain, effective tax on an IRA distribution, effective tax on a savings bond redemption, whatever you want to call it. But we call it, instead of the effective tax, the effective tax is the total tax divided by your total taxable income. The effective tax is the tax created from the new income. And here's an example of why we think this is so important. And then you'll see how this plays as we start talking about inheriting IRAs. What you see is a cutout of a tax super sheet of a person who has roughly $30,000 of Social Security and roughly $20,000 of pension. But you see I've highlighted that there's only $1,500 of the Social Security is reportable as income. The rest is a benefit. Benefits are not taxable. Income is taxable. And you look at the bottom, taxable income is only $200, yet they have $50,000 of income. That's why when I mentioned that other one, $23,000 does not sound like much. Now we have to decide, is it cash flow or is it income? Total tax with Minnesota included in this case is $33. Now, we've seen this happen altogether too often, whether it's inherited assets or your own assets. You've been driving that same car for some time. You say, I've got plenty of money in this IRA and I'm in the lowest tax bracket, 10%, right? 10% tax bracket. I'm just gonna take $20,000 out, trade in this old car and get a brand new car. You're in the 10% marginal bracket, how much do you pay? Most people would say 2,000. The reality is it's far from 2,000 because the tax code just isn't that simple. First, we have to distribute the 20,000, that creates 20,000 of additional income. See what we highlighted here? But once we've distributed the 20,000, that provisional income test that few people can figure out how to, how, to, how to calculate, says you also have to pay tax now on $15,000 of your Social Security that wasn't taxable before. The adjusted gross income is skyrocketed from, from 21,000 to 53,000. And the tax liability is grown from 31 to $6,084. Now, even a logical thinking person would say, well, I'll be in the 15% bracket, 20,000, that'd be $3,000. But here we are, we're talking about 30%. That last distribution. I want to go back one. Created enough tax, the $20,000 of income created tax such that that $20,000 was taxed at 30.27%. Yet, they're still in the 15% bracket. Do you think the cards are stacked against you? Yeah. I mean, seriously. Because what logical thinking person would come up with this, right? How, how could you come up with this being a logical person? And I think there are those people who are intelligent and logical and they wrestle with it and they try to figure out and they get frustrated and angry and they give up. And then there's the other people who don't even know. And the majority don't even know. That's what we're here to talk about is to make sure the people that are going to be receiving these dollars know these things happen so they can keep more of your hard-earned money that you're leaving or if you're here as an heir the money that's being left to you can you can be responsible and keep it and it's not because you're not responsible because the cards are stacked against you in the way the tax code calculates these distributions.